in this video we will see the solution of the problem i provided you in the last video on path transistor topic so these were the two problems we will see their solution but before that let us develop a thought process and problem solving technique on this topic so that if you if you get any problem in future on this topic you should be able to solve it in minimum time and get the correct answer at very first attempt and that is the most important thing you should be able to develop to get good rank so let us see this past transistor topic so past transistor as its name suggests it passes something now what does it pass it passes logics either it is logic 0 or it is logic 1 so based on this we have two type of past transistor one is nmos and another is pmos i hope you know how these nmos and pmos transistor looks like so this is the simple nmos three terminals generally we, look, we represent it by three terminals one is gate one is drain one is source similarly we have pmos it is also having three terminals generally one is source one is drain one is gate and there is bubble also so we know about this nmos its drain terminal is having at higher potential its drain terminal having higher potential and similarly in case of pmos its source terminal having higher potential source terminal is having higher potential and we also know if gate terminal voltage is high either 1 or it is either VDD in that case this NMOS will be on you say on NMOS similarly in case of PMOS if VG is low voltage whether it is zero or we can say it is ground in that case we say this PMOS is on now you will see how this NMOS or PMOS passes logic zero logic one which one is good for passing logic zero and which one is good for passing logic one so let us see let us take first NMOS or we will take them parallelly this is we are taking NMOS and here I am taking PMOS now when we use this NMOS PMOS in pass transistor circuits we represent them like this so this is NMOS this is my gate terminal now to function this NMOS or to be active this NMOS in the pass transistor circuit this NMOS has to be on it means that the gate terminal voltage this is VD VG it has to be VDD Similarly, in case of PMOS, to make this on, its gate terminal voltage VG has to be ground or zero. Now these NMOS and PMOS are on. Now we will see which one is good at passing logic zero. So for NMOS, I am trying to pass logic one, let us say. Now if I pass logic 1, it means that this is my NMOS and this is VG equals to VDD to make it on and now we will decide in these two terminals which is gate, which is drain and which is source. So from the previous knowledge I have we have seen this drain having higher potential and I am trying to pass logic 1. So this is my input, this is output, this is logic 1, it means that this is VDD since drain terminal have higher voltage in that case this terminal has to be drain so this terminal has to be source now when i try to pass logic 1 in nmos i get output as vg minus vtn where vtn is this is output i get when i try to pass logic 1 through this nmos so this vtn is threshold voltage of this NMOS I get V output VG minus VTN now we can see that whatever we are trying to pass we are not getting that exactly but we get a drop of VTN also now let us check when we try to pass logic 0 
through this NMOS what we get so this is my NMOS and uh, this is VG we have already provided it VDD to make it on and this will be my output and this is input in this case input is logic 0 so let us say ground or we can say logic 0 simply we say 0 in that case we get v output equals to 0 so here we can see whatever we provided at input and output it is passing the same thing so we can conclude that nmos is good at passing logic 0 since it is able to pass logic 0 as it is so NMOS is good at passing logic 0 so this is about NMOS now let us look at PMOS so first we will try to pass let us say we will try to pass logic 0 first so this is my N, my PMOS here is a bubble and uh, this is we made ground to make it on now input I am giving logic 0 this is say 0 now which one is source from these two terminals which one is source and which one is drain from the previous knowledge source having higher potential and we know this terminal is 0 this is low potential so this has to be source because this has to be at higher potential because we know this terminal is at 0 and it is lower potential so this will be drain this will be source now in that case we get v output equals to 0 and uh, when we try to pass logic 1 So this is I have P MOS, this is bubble, this is I made it count to make it on and I am providing here 1 or we say VDD. So this is higher potential and in P MOS we know source is at higher potential. So now this terminal will be source and this will be drain and this V output will be now, it will be mod of this. I made it wrong I'm sorry this V output has to be if it is logic 0 then this V output has to be mod of VTP and uh, when we are trying to pass logic 1 in that case this output has to be VDD so from here we can conclude for PMOS that PMOS is good at PMOS is good at passing logic 1 so this much information we should have to crack any kind of problem of the pass transistor that is NMOS is good at passing logic 0 it means that whenever we provide 0 input at this input terminal we, we get output as 0 it means that it passes the input as it is but in case of logic 1 it will not pass as it is but it will drop VTN voltage so it is not good at passing logic 1 but NMOS is good at passing logic 0 similarly in case of PMOS we have PMOS is good at passing logic 1 but in case of passing logic 0 it is not good because instead of giving output 0 it gives more of VTP so now we will see the solution of the problem so these were the problems let us see their solution so these problems are simple for question number one we know these all are NMOS so these all are NMOS in case of VA we will get see this is VN and VN is we have VDD this is given we have VN equals to VDD now this VA see this input is VDD and it is passing logic 1 it means we have in input we are given logic high so it is passing logic 1 so we know this NMOS is not good at passing logic 1 so in case of logic high this VA will be VG minus VTN 
so vg we have vdd and vtn we are given 0 0.7 so vdd is 1.8 minus 0 0.7 we'll get it 1.1 volt so va will be 1.1 volt similarly for vb again we'll get vg minus vth and vg is vdd and vdd means 1.8 minus vtn that is 0 0.7 Again, it will be 1.1 volt. Similarly, for VC also, this is VG minus VTN. So, VG is VDD. It means 1.8 minus VTN is 0 0.7 volt. So, it will be 1.1 volt. So, these are the simple problems, but these are good problems. Similarly, in question number 2, we have two NMOS are connected in cascade form. So this is my V1 input. So we know input is VDD. In this case, it is not good at passing logic 1. Actually, this is logic 1. And we have seen NMOS is not good at passing logic 1. In that case, V1 will be VG minus VTN. VG is VDD and VDD is 1.8. So in that case, this will be 1.8 minus VTN is 0.7. So it will be 1.1 volt. This is my V1 output voltage. Similarly, if we find out V output, again this is NMOS and we are passing logic 1. So we know it is not good at passing logic 1. So it will drop VTN voltage. Means that it will be V1 minus VTN. V1 because this is V1 equals to VGG here. And we know V output is VG minus VTN. So V1 is VG and VG is V1 that is 1.1. So 1.1 minus VTN is 0 0.7 volt. So it will be 0 0.4 volt. So this is about pass transistor and the solution of these two problems. Thank you.